Hey guys, hello, good morning, welcome to another one. I've never done anything like this before, so I am excited. Recently, I had a follower on Instagram ask me how I do my hair and how I take care of my face every day. So I just filmed in its entirety every single piece of that puzzle. So let's get into it. I hope you enjoy my morning routine. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did just get out of bed, so I woke up. This is how I appear. Step number one, take out the retainer. Ah! I'm gonna rinse this off with cold water. <coughs> All right, oh, okay. Teeth are straight, beautiful. Step two, I brush my teeth. Rebecca and I were actually at the 99 cent store the other day, and we found Crest 3D White for a dollar a tube. All right, cool. Now my mouth feels clean, and I like that. But I want the rest of me to feel clean, too. So, real quick, I'm gonna shower right behind you. Hey, what's up? Oh, 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 that's hot. We'll get back to this in like 10 minutes. All right, cool. This is how I look every time I get out of the shower, by the way. My hair does not naturally like to stay back out of my face. So we are in for a bit of work. Towel dry, make it fluffy. <laughs> Deodorant, that's all natural, too. Who am I? And I'm gonna put on a shirt. I'm sorry for my nakedness. Cool, this is good, I like this. Bye, I can't see. Contacts, though are great. Somebody once asked me to make like an entire video specifically dedicated to why I wear contacts instead of my glasses. One, I prefer the way I look without glasses more. And I want to wear sunglasses, but I can't do that from wearing regular people glasses. All right, cool. I look like a buffalo. <laughs> Real quick, I use three products in the shower. I use Redken for men, go clean. Also, I use a Target brand face scrub. Dove Men Plus Care Extra Fresh Micro Moisture. Throw that on the loofah and scrub a dub dub. Let's do my hair. It is towel dry, so it's still pretty damp wet. Yeah. And my hair technique is a three-prong approach. Prong number one, mousse. I use this Tresemme heat protecting mousse. Or really anything probably works. Right. But then just go straight into the hair, woo, all over. Get it on there. And again, because my hair does naturally like to go forward, I try to do everything backwards. And then I try to find where I want my hair to part. Nah, it's too far, like this way. I'm gonna go into the comb and go all the way over, like a true comb over, real quick. By the way, I don't know what I'm doing. At the end of every day, my hair looks pretty much the same, but I never take the same path to get there twice. And we'll say this feels like the basic shape of it. And that's what this step is for. Mousse adds volume to the hair once you dry it. It also gives you a fresh, wet template that isn't water. And then we blow dry. High speed and a medium heat. And what you might notice is that I do the same things with my hair over and over and over again until it's dry. Those things are, I'm going to push my hair over this direction, dry it like that, and then let it fall. As well, I'm going to go in from the side right here, pull it up, and hit it from this angle, and then let it fall again. Right now, what is happening is this is wanting to fall back down. So, I think that is the sign that we're gonna go to the next step, which is a pace. This stuff right here, to be exact, this is Kevin Murphy Knight Rider. This is expensive, so I'm probably, I, this is gonna be the last time I purchased this for a while. Can I get about that much? I guess, I, I, I hate when people do this because that's such a vague thing. It's not a ton, it's like the size of a dime, I think. If I were to flatten it out, probably like a, like maybe a nickel. But we're pretty much gonna ruin everything that we just did with the hair, and then attack it with this stuff. And you really wanna make sure that you rub it in the hands, like any kind of a paste. You don't want to just go at it with this thick glob on your fingertip and hope it's gonna work. Get it all up in there, it's invisible now. You can't see it. Oh, can I feel it? By the way, my hair hasn't been cut in like three months, so everything on my head is, is ridiculous to work with. Here, I'm gonna do that thing again, where I go in like at an angle and then swoop it over, and that's just gonna add volume right here. Right where I need it. And I'm actually feeling pretty good about it right now. So we're gonna lock this in by blow drying. Again, this time high heat, low speed. And that is the dry product right there. One final product we're gonna throw in the hair is a cream. Just like with the paste, probably any cream is gonna work. But just so you know, it is Mitch Clean Cut. And we're gonna get about the same amount as the last time, like right there. Same game, rub it all through the hands. And then go into the hair. Woo! This product is a, it's not a high hold, it's a medium hold, but it has like a nice medium shine to it also. But this happens every morning, where it just, it doesn't work for a while, but over the next like 30 minutes, this is gonna become what I wear every day. And also, I think I'm gonna shave real quick. 
All right, cool, cool. I'm gonna use this aftershave. It's a sensitive cooling post shave balm by Nevia Men. There's glycerin in it, and I think that's good. And we're just gonna touch the face down here first, but also I'm gonna move up into the rest of my face because I do think it is a good product for anybody, maybe. Very wet looking, as you can see. So I'm gonna throw this on a low heat, like a cold set, and I'll put it on the lower speed. So that feels really good, actually. We're almost done, only two more things to go. First, we're using a BB cream. This one is good for my skin tone. It's by Garnier, though. If you're wondering, what is a BB cream? It stands for beauty balm. They call it a five-in-one miracle skin perfector, but really it's just like a tinted sunscreen. So we're gonna get a little bit, like right there, just that much. And the way I like to put this on, I don't like to like rub it into my hands, because then it's just on my hands and I can't get it on my face, but I like clap it, I guess. And then I do the same onto my face. Oh, oh, oh. And then you can rub it in. Oh, nice. And finally, we're at the end. Again, Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Eye Roller. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but I have pretty dark circles under my eyes all the time. And that's hereditary. It, it uh, makes between my cheekbones and my sinuses. But we can cover it up with some of this stuff. And I go under like a couple swipes like that, under like a couple swipes like that. And then I hit it with the ring finger. I think it offers like a more natural blending. I, I really don't remember. And that's eye number one. Hit it one more time with the blow dryer so you get rid of any wetness. And there we go. It's that easy. Way too much for a guy, probably. But that's how I start my day every morning. At least the good mornings where I'm like wanting to shower. On days I don't want to shower, I just take a spray bottle and spray my hair and then dry it out as if I had just showered. And then I go through the whole thing again. And I'm gonna finish up this video here in the kitchen because the lighting does my face and my hair a lot more justice. But also because I need my coffee. Where is my grinder? Oh, there it is, right next to my tinder. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead, click the like button on the video itself. Let me know in the comments also if you're into this kind of stuff i'd love to be able to try to help you out in your in your beauty and grooming needs if i can and a quick reminder everybody's different i'm not saying that this is the perfect way to do hair the perfect way to make your face a little prettier but it's how i do it and that was the question so go ahead leave those comments in the comment section down below and with that i'm gonna go so yeah <sighs> bye